Hello guys, Night Spectre here, bringing you another League of Legends cast. This time again, a solo ranked. Lots of solo ranks these days. Uh, and it's actually Blue Team that's ahead by one point. This Oriara, Oriana has apparently been able to kill the Cartus once. So first blood for her. Good job, Oriana. I love to see Orianas. They need more love because they don't get played as much recently. And it hurts my feelings ever so much. Nocturne actually ganking the bottom, apparently. He will not be able to get the Graves, though. Will do a lots of damage, but now it's Nautilus who's approaching. Is Oh, I thought he would have been able to get the Azrael. It's too dangerous to get anyone else, to be honest. So he, they, they, they need to fall back. It's, it's too risky, I might say. Jax was actually ganking the Karthus now, who is level 6, so that's another thing they need to worry about, because if Karthus has his ultimate, he can shoot you down. This, oh, big heal there by Ezreal, and now the ultimate of Karthus is finally going down, but it will not be enough to kill anybody. So this has been very tight on the bottom lane so far. I want to go over the teams, but I didn't have the chance yet, which is always a good sign. So we have Azrael and Janna on the bottom for purple team versus a Graves and a Soraka for blue team. Middle was Oriana and Cartis. Oriana for blue, Cartis for purple. Jax is on top versus a top Udir, so probably a Tiger Udir for purple team. They are very strong, though Jax's are of course also strong. Look at that Udir going in. And now Jax is going to try and stun him, but Udi was fast enough with his turtle form, going to do some more damage, actually igniting him. Pretty dangerous dive there, this won't be enough to kill the Jax, but if Jax is able to jump the Udi now with his stun, I think he might be able to kill him, because of course you know Jax has a 100% dodge now if he can activate it. Oh, that could have been... Look, here he goes, he's going to jump onto the Udi, but Udi was smart enough to go turtle form, trying to regen as much as possible. So he should be fine, but Nautilus is coming, so same could be said of Nocturne, now that Nautilus is actually ganking, I don't know if he was visible onto the camera, but I think Nocturne is going to steal away this blue, Udir should be able to get away, Jax is going to try and jump on him, but Udir uses his tiger form, will the dot be enough, it will just not be enough, but Jax needs to be careful there, is gonna try and bait the Udir to go to him, now he uses his tiger form for nothing, should have saved it. Nocturne is actually ready with the, the stealing of the blue, so he will now go in onto the Nautilus. Nautilus will probably not survive. Udir needs to be careful though, because Oriana has arrived. Jax jumping on Udir to stun him. Oriana was able to ultimate him inside, so he will probably die to the auto attack. Though Nocturne was able to get the, the Jax at the same time. Now he's gonna try and kill the Nautilus actually. He's going to wait for his cooldowns to go off. Nice grab there by Nautilus, predicting the movement of, of the Nocturne. Nocturne was able to spell shield though. And they don't want to chase him. <laughs> Kart is as lazy as balls can be. Stayed in the middle for the entire fight. Well, why not? Nocturne did great. He survived. He didn't die. So though it's two kills for blue team and one kill for purple. But then again, Cartus was able to farm minions while Oriana was not able to do that. And Nocturne stole the blue, which is also a good thing to do. Just look at how low the Soraka is. Surely something happened at the bottom I did not see during the engages on top. My oh my. Jax is now actually in the middle. It's been pretty weird. Jax has been everywhere. Not last hitting for... <laughs> Uh, anyway, the the plus thing about uh, having a Soraka is of course that you can just heal yourself up, give mana to everybody, heal them, you're just a, a portable fountain. I've said it again and I'll say it more. Ooh, Oriana needs to be careful there on a one-on-one -on -one situation if Cartus is able to hit his uh, Qs of course, if he's not able to hit his Qs then yes, you will win. Where is Jax? He went back to base? Huh. Nautilus is now smart enough to go for his red buff. Not to show why a ping goes on to Udir. I don't know, maybe they like to ping each other. Jenna is going to ward, good job there Jenna. Nocturne was going to gank the Oriana, but I think he didn't want to. He's going to the bottom now, or probably going to give blue to Oriana. Yes, he is. Uh, Oriana, I mean Carter's of course. It's uh, Soraka versus Jana, and Jana does not have any mana left. Nor does Azrael actually has mana or um, health left, to be honest. 
But Nocturne is close, he is level 6, so if they are going to turret dive, then they will know though. Pings are going down onto the bottom lane by blue team, saying they should not engage. And middle is actually getting engaged here as well. Cartus is getting jumped on by the Jan, uh, the, Jan the Jax and the Nautilus. Whoever, he was alone actually versus three, so yeah, that's an assured kill. Nothing he could do about that. Pings are going down onto Dragon. Purple team want Udyr to go to the bottom, but I don't think there's anything he can do. Cartus is dead. Well, Soraka and Graves are actually able... Oh uh, no, they are also from blue team, of course. And Ezreal and Janna were both too low, so they can't engage on this dragon. They just can't. Udyr is better off pushing his tower, because, you know. Are you going to try and smite? It's too dangerous, mate. It's too dangerous. He's going to try, though. The dragon isn't low enough, but he wasn't able to smite at all. So, that's a dead uh, nocturne. Unable to smite, giving a kill to the enemy team. Well, he could have tried, but it's very risky play, to be honest. I, I wouldn't do it. Unless he waited a bit longer. Went in, insta-smited with his spell shield ready. Then it could have worked. This minion uh, needs some love in, Udyr. I don't want to push this lane. Why don't you want to push this lane? Just push the lane! Jax isn't near, just push it against the tower, then the minions will die faster, I mean your own minions, then you'll be able to farm faster. Last hit, you bugger! God! <laughs> Nocturne does not want uh, Cartus taking his raves, though Nautilus was close, so he should appreciate it, really. Pings are going down on red, but red isn't there, I think. No, because then Nocturne would have taken it already. Udyr spotted by a ward, warding himself, now Nocturne is spotted by a ward. If Jax is smart enough, he will play this out correctly. Nocturne now stuck in between Jax and, well, Orianna and Nautilus, so that's one dead Nocturne, getting auto attack to death because of Orianna's passive. Now Udyr will probably die, Nautilus using his ultimate for it, then stunning him into place, a good ultimate by Orianna, pulling him way the other side of his tower. Who is tanking it? I think Jax is, but Jank should be fine, good shield there by Orianna making sure he is even more fine. Orianna playing fairly well, which I love, because I love Orianna's, because they don't get enough love. Of course, Cartus will be strong regardless of how he plays in the end game. By then, his ultimate is so strong that it can take out nearly your carry. And then let alone, if you're in a team fight and you stand in his AoE, then you'll die some more. It's a very hard uh, champion to play against in the end game. Early game, not that big of a threat, still very potent. Lots of pings, really. I'm going to turn the sound off a little bit more so I don't get irritated as much. But they do help. The pings help me focus more. I need to watch the minimap at all time. Though I could just say, oh, dynamic camera, you do the work, man. As you can see, Nocturne is here zoning in if they are able to push this lane, but blue team has warded this place, so even if he's there, they'll know, they'll know right about now. They should know. And they're retreating. Well, they were pushing very hard, now they know Nocturne is here. How do they know? Well, he's no longer here. They could try and bait him out, they could use this in their advantage, Nautilus is already approaching, but I would appreciate it if if the girl Oriana would approach as well. They are actually going to hug him just to juke it out, fine, why not? And Nocturne is going to counter jungle, was spotted by the ward, but now Soraka is spotted as well, so he knows he needs to get the hell out of there. He is not doing that, however, going to ward the red, but now he's gonna get caught. Soraka and Graves aren't following him, so he should be fine, really. Cartus is near as well. Oriana is not. So now it's actually Nautilus who is in a pickle. Bottom lane just uh, juking each other out, giving exchange blows. Nothing that Soraka can't heal or Janna can't shield against. Now Cartus is getting the Oriana there, together with Nocturne, who uses his ultimate. Though Nautilus should have his ultimate as well. Spell shielded there, blocked the grab there by Nautilus. Now the ultimate of Nautilus takes both of them in the air, <laughs> just like Oriana's ultimate there. So both of them were flying. Now Oriana giving a shield to the Nautilus to get a good spot onto the Cartus. Cartus is going to use his ultimate. Nautilus will probably uh, barely survive. I was going to say Jax will die. Oh, I thought the ignite damage and the AoE damage of Cartus would have been enough. But guess not. 
Udir is a very strong guy, of course. He's going for... Oh, Ezreal gonna snipe right next to the Jax. A pity. A pity indeed. Was almost gonna scream, but I, I kept it in. Now Graves taking huge amounts of damage, but... You don't have any mana anymore, Ezreal, so you're not that strong anymore. Now it's Graves' play. Janna also doesn't have any mana, so Graves will just shotgun her and then she'll die. <laughs> the auto-attack of the Soraka was very potent. Ezreal gonna try and auto-attack her. Nice Q there, but is he able to get away? No. No, he won't. So a double... No, I was gonna say double kill for Graves, but... Soraka was the one who killed the Janna. Fine enough, because she flashed away. Else it wouldn't have been a kill, I think. It probably wouldn't have been. Oriana has a blue buff. How do you like it, Carthus? I don't. <laughs> I thought as much. Nautilus is actually going to counter the blue. It would be fun if they steal it. He is going to walk towards it, so they might. Graves is there as well. Oh, Carthus, I think he is spotted. Yes, he is. He, if he has flash, he will survive, but he does not have flash, so he will probably die. There's no way you can escape a Nautilus together with an Oriana. Did Graves even get the assist for it? Yes, so good job there by Blue Team. Stealing the blue buff, it is what Blue Team does. Nocturne is going in onto the Jax, but Jax is two levels higher, and because he has some attack damage, he also has some armor, so Nocturne won't be able to do that much damage. Azrael is trying to prevent the steal there by blue team on their blue, but it will not work. Needs to be careful there because Oriana is there, everyone is there to be honest. Only Jax isn't there. Jax gets stunned mid-flight, so it didn't really affect him at all. His jump was like a second jump, so I don't know. The stun is probably a second and a half? Two seconds stun? So yeah, he was only stunned for one second. They are going to go in onto the Janna and the Ezreal, however they warded this bush, pretty weird, you don't really see that much. Janna will probably use her ultimate right about now, it's the right timing, Janna, it's the right timing. Or else they want to tank it out a bit longer, in order that one of them will die, now she uses her ultimate at a great timing I might say. This Graves uh, has been taking a lot of damage by the turret because of it. Ezreal going in, healing himself, anti Janna, Janna probably has a shield left for him. Though it's probably on cooldown, there's the shield, so Ezreal should be able to get away, though. The big damage there by Soraka, and oh, Soraka's auto attacks are doing amazing damage. Now I think Cartus will get the Nautilus. Good shield there by Nautilus himself. So yeah, he actually survived. <laughs> Soraka showing off her attack damage skills. Almost got the tower because of it, now heals herself, so Janna won't be able to do anything. Not to show why Nocturne used his ultimate, though. It didn't kill anyone. I thought he was going to go in on here, but guess not. How are you doing, Udir? He's doing fairly well against Jax. Going to stun him. Didn't Tiger in time, to be honest. The best way to Tiger, actually, and stun is to go Tiger first, then go Bear. Well, that's a dead, 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 dead Jax. That's a dead Jax. Well, you all saw it. So as I was going to say, it's smarter for an Udir to go first Tiger, then Bear, and when you stun him, go Tiger again, because a Tiger Dot will remain on you as a kind of a buff, so your first auto attack does the Tiger damage Dot. So you don't need to be in Tiger form, you just need to activate it. That way you can do a double Tiger stance hit, unless they nerfed it. But I don't think they did, I, I look it up. Or you look it up. Put it in the comments below if I'm a liar. That way I'll know. Pink Ward placed down by Blue Team onto the dragon so they know that they don't have dragon warded and Ori Oriana is actually going in pretty damn fast. Though they, they know that Nocturne is there. It was warded as well and big damage onto Nocturne. I don't think he will survive. Good job there by both Oriana and Graves doing major damage. And of course, clutch support play. Oh, Janna, you might get caught here. They know you're there, mate. And she's gonna get stunned, slowed, well, and then knocked up in the air. I don't think she will survive. She even got <laughs> sniped by the Soraka. Well, she wanted an assist. She gets a kill. And I don't think Ezreal might survive. He does have his arcane shift, but I don't think that'll be enough. <laughs> the very quick Soraka there. Udir actually came all the way from top to stun a Nautilus, so that's not the best thing you can do, but he tried to save the Ezreal, but now he might actually die. It's four people going in onto him. He is silenced, but not for long enough. Oriana might actually try and tower dive him, but Nocturne is there, so be careful. Now, at the same time, Jax was able to kill a D. Carter's there. Of course he is. 
Jax is always able to kill Cartus. So that will be a free dragon. Actually, Nocturne getting way too close here. If Well, he has a spell shield, but still, come on, man. There were four or five people here in the area. Don't just waltz in. That's a dragon for blue team. 16 kills for blue team. So this won't be that long of a battle, I think. For now, it looks very grim for purple team. Of course, I think they have the better end game. Yeah, I think they do. Udyr is quite strong end game, but just as strong as a Jax is, I think. They're going to go in. As you can see, the tiger buff does work when you go uh, bear afterwards. So what I said earlier still counts. It hasn't been nerfed. Well, why would it be? Graves actually getting spotted here by the ward placed by Janna. So Janna needs to slow him right about now. Azrael was able to queue him. Soraka was able to kill the Nocturne? I I'm going to look that up later. Wait, what? But Graves got an assist onto it. Then how did it happen? Sorry, guys, I'm going to... <laughs> Alright, so that's what happened. He was recalling, barely beaten to death. And then, of course, the kill onto Graves. Carter's got a kill out of it. Thank you. God, Cartus, you got a kill. Is it your first kill? No, you had a kill with your ultimate, didn't you? Yes, you did. Zero assists for him, even. Oh, and now Soraka is in a very... Well, that's what happens. She couldn't back down anywhere. She could have gone here. That was the safest route because she... Well, she couldn't have known that the entire enemy team was here to gang the graves, but still. And now Jax again going in onto the Cartus. Very smart of him to destroy the tower first. Well, why wouldn't you? And jumping again, so... That will be another kill by Jax on Cartus very quickly. Well, Jax is very good at killing squishies. So that's a dead Cartus, dead by the red buff. If Jax didn't have the red buff, he would have survived. Nocturne is going to try and farm some minions. He's first going for red because he loves red. Udyr actually going in onto the Oriana but needs to run away now because that ultimate does quite a amount of damage. No, if she goes defensive then, yeah, she will, you will die. She didn't even use her defensive attack, she used attack, right? Command attack, yes she did. I thought she could have used command uh, dissonance, protect of course, then the ball would return straight to her because Udyr was standing in between her and the ball, so the ball would have hit him regardless. But she used attack, it does more damage anyway, so why not? If you have blue buff, you can spam whatever you want. Now I think Nocturne will die. He's going to try and run away, was able to use spell shield though. Because he ran away from the Nautilus ult, his spell shield ran out. So it would have been smarter if he stood still or ran, ran towards it. But then I think Jax would have gotten him. So there was just no escape really. Now Cartus is going to try and do some damage onto Nautilus who is fairly tanky to be honest. He already has an Aegis of the Legion. And is going to pull in Azrael, going to do massive damage onto him together with Graves of course. Graves gonna blind the Azrael. Azrael using heal is gonna get shielded by Dijan and then use Arcane Shift to get away to safety. He has blue buff so that's good. Udi was going to try and chase them all into oblivion but that won't be the case. He's all alone. There's no one here besides me. And then you gotta have friends. I think Soraka will die. I'm pretty sure Soraka will die. I think Azrael will die. I pretty again by Soraka. How many kills does she want? Now she has blue buff. Well, Azri no, Azrael had blue. Yeah, that's why she has it. A big heal there by Soraka. She might even be able to heal herself, but she got feared, so she will probably die. Get stunned afterwards. So yes, she is dead. Now Grace will probably die unless they focus the Nautilus first. Nautilus was actually able to flash away. Cartus is going to do some blind cues, but is going to die because of it. Oriana is gonna probably get away because Jax jumped in on the Udyr. Needs to be careful for the AoE of Cartus though, but he is dead for now. Nocturne actually survived, pretty amazing, but the ultimate oh, was blocked by a spell shield and now she is being pretty insane and fairly aggressive, but one auto attack should be enough. Of course, her passive does amazing damage. Clockwork wind up, dodges the Azrael ultimate, barely though, I don't think she will survive, she wants to shield herself to survive turret damage, but nicely done, she was just had enough, the cooldown was just off cooldown, and now I think Azrael will die, because Jax jumped upon his face, yeah, that's a certain death, oh, those cooldowns are so low for all of them, that was so, well, let's say lucky, no, it was supposed to be. It was lucky though, but it was amazing, it was fine to watch, that was fun. Actually, there's a lot of good games on League of Legends, really. I don't know what ELO is, it doesn't say, 
Kartus is gonna try and go onto the Soraka, but I think Soraka has more kills than he does. Well, she is two levels lower, so he might stand a chance, but that's a 5-3-8 Soraka. Oh, my mouse is... Oh, they surrendered. No! I don't want to go there! I, was, I thought, well, my mouse is going nowhere, but... Yeah, purple team surrendered. They were 12k gold behind, so why not surrender then? It was a, it was a nice game. I enjoyed it to the fullest. Thank you, purple team, for not surrendering at the 20-minute mark. The last five minutes were awesome. So, GG, blue team. I'll thumb you up. With a snap of my finger, my thumb rises. And guys, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.